The incredible tennis career of Roberto Bautista Agut. Hello and welcome to today's video, where we'll be delving into the incredible tennis career of Roberto Bautista Agut, one of the most talented and accomplished players in the world of tennis. Bautista Agut has made a name for himself with his consistent play, tenacity on the court, and impressive achievements at the highest levels of the sport. From his early beginnings in Castellon, Spain, to his rise as a top-ranked player, we'll explore the milestones and moments that have defined Bautista Agut's remarkable career. So, grab your racket, and without further ado, let's get started with the video. Early Life and Tennis Beginnings Born on April 14, 1988, in Castellon, Spain, Bautista Agut grew up in a sports-loving family. His father, who was an enthusiastic tennis player, introduced him to the game when he was a child. Bautista Agut frequently watched kids striking tennis balls against a wall in his hometown. The court prowess of Bautista Agut was acknowledged quickly. He started training at a neighborhood tennis club, where Pepe Vendrell, his first trainer, noticed him. Bautista Agut soon started developing his abilities and elevated his performance under Vendrell's guidance. Bautista Agut had a fruitful career as a young player, taking up multiple tournaments and moving up the rankings. He has won the Under-18 Spanish Championships and advanced to the 2006 Wimbledon Junior Championships quarterfinals. Throughout his formative tennis years, Bautista Agut was assisted by a number of mentors and instructors who were essential to his growth as a player. The former world number one and French Open champion Juan Carlos Ferrero was one of the most prominent personalities in his early career. Ferrero, who was also from Bautista Agut's birthplace, recognized the player's potential and started training with him at his academy. Bautista Agut advanced further under Ferrero's guidance, refining his skills and fortitude. Ferrero wasn't Bautista Agut's only role model, as he also received coaching from prominent figures like Pepe Clave and Javier Piles. Professional debut. In 2005, Bautista Agut became a professional, and in 2006, he competed in his first ATP match. He won two Futures titles in his first year on the tour, proving his skill. The following several years saw steady improvement for Bautista Agut, who displayed exceptional form and incredible consistency. He played with intensity and grit, and his effort quickly started to pay off. In 2008, he received his first ATP points, and he kept playing in events to get more and more experience. Over the following several years, Bautista Agut's game rapidly improved, and his abilities started to stand out. He was a force to be reckoned with on the court thanks to his strong forehand and backhand strokes, tremendous court mobility, and exceptional mental toughness. Breakthrough Moments in 2013, Bautista Agut announced himself on the world stage by reaching his first ATP final in Chennai, where he put on an impressive display, but ultimately fell short to Janko Tipsarovic. He didn't let the defeat derail him, though, and would emerge from the Australian Open with even more success. After defeating Fabio Fognini in a first-round five-setter, he fell to Jürgen Melzer in the second round. His ability to compete with the greatest in the world was demonstrated in this crucial moment, which was a turning point in his career. As his success continued throughout the year, Bautista Agut won his maiden ATP championship at the Mercedes Open in Stuttgart. This was a significant turning point in his career, since it demonstrated his capacity to continuously compete at a high level and triumph over challenging opponents. He made it to the semifinal where he lost to eventual champion Fabio Fognini. On the 15th of July of that year, Bautista Agut broke the top 50 for the first time, a remarkable achievement considering where he had started the year. It was a testament to his hard work, dedication, and talent, and set the stage for even greater success in the years to come. Rise up the rankings. Bautista Agut showed that he was more than a one-hit wonder after his breakthrough year in 2013. In Hertogenbosch in 2014, he defeated Benjamin Becker to win his second ATP championship. Then in 2015, he added two more victories, taking first place in Sofia and Auckland. These victories helped him break into the top 20 for the first time in his career. However, Bautista Agut's achievements in 2015 went beyond merely his championship victories. Also impressive was his performance at the French Open in 2016, where he made his fourth round appearance. He won over Pablo Carreno Busta, Benoit Paire, 
and John Millman before losing to Novak Djokovic in the fourth round. However, he did manage to take the first set off the serve, 6-3. Bautista Agut's ascent in the rankings was evidence of his aptitude, stubbornness, and tireless efforts. He was demonstrating to the tennis community that he could compete at the highest level and was a force to be reckoned with. Consistent performer, Bautista Agut, is a player who is highly respected for his consistency on the court. He has an all-around game and has an ability to grind out wins when the situation demands it. His forehand and backhand shots are renowned for their power, and his mobility around the court is amazing. A formidable opponent for any player, Bautista Agut is also mentally challenging and rarely gets rattled on the court. He differs from other players in that he can maintain a steady performance, which is demonstrated by his on-tour performances. He rose up the rankings as a result of his strong showings in numerous competitions, and he is now a formidable opponent on the court. With his consistent play and unwavering determination, Bautista Agut is sure to continue his winning ways and make a mark in the tennis world for years to come. Masters title When Bautista Agut won his first-ever Masters championship in Dubai in 2018, his illustrious career continued to climb. He drew a challenging opponent in Lucas Puy in the championship match, but he handled the Frenchman with incredible composure and consistency to win the match in straight sets. Bautista Agut also became the first player outside the top 10 to win the event since Fabrice Santoro in 2002. For Bautista Agut, the victory marked a significant turning point and solidified his position as a top player on the ATP Tour. These achievements allowed Bautista Agut to end the year as the numbered 23 player in the world, which is a testimonial to his reliable results and exceptional capacity to execute at the top levels of his sport under pressure. Australian Open Success In 2019, he began the year by defeating Andy Murray in a grueling five-set match at the Australian Open. He reached his first Grand Slam quarterfinal after he defeated the sixth seed Marin Silic in five sets. In the quarterfinals, he was defeated by 14th seed Stefanos Tsitsipas, who was fresh off a victory over defending champion Roger Federer in four sets. With this performance, he earned enough points to re-enter the top 20 in the ATP rankings. Davis Cup success. He also played a pivotal role in leading his team to victory in the tournament. All four of Bautista Agut's singles matches were victories, as he was in excellent form throughout the competition. He stood out in the final matchup with Canada when he overcame rising sensation Felix Auger Aliasime to help Spain win the championship. The team's success was greatly attributed to Bautista Agut's steady and reliable play, and fans and other players praised him for his accomplishments. Bautista Agut's Davis Cup triumph is a testimonial of his talent and competitive spirit as a player. His contributions have helped to solidify his position as one of the best players in the world since he has regularly demonstrated that he is a dependable and important contributor to his team. Top 10 Ranking Roberto Bautista Agut's rise to the top 10 of the world rankings resulted from his persistent diligence and hard work. He reached a career-high world ranking of number 9 in 2019, solidifying his place among the top tennis players in the world. His skill on the court, along with his mental toughness, have made him a formidable opponent and a role model for aspiring tennis players worldwide. Future Outlook, Bautista Agut, 34, is still producing impressive work and making waves on the tour. He is presently rated number 16 in the world, and in addition to reaching the quarterfinals of the Australian Open and the Dubai Championships, he achieved one victory at the Winston-Salem Open in 2022. The consistency of Bautista Agut's play and his mental strength have allowed him to remain one of the best players in the world. His opponents have found it difficult to match his great all-around game, powerful forehand and backhand, and good court mobility. Watching how Bautista Agut's career develops as he keeps competing at the greatest level will be fascinating. Will he be able to win additional championships and climb the rankings even further? Bautista Agut has made a name for himself as one of the best players in the world and a force to be reckoned with on the court, so only time will tell what the future brings. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about Bautista Agut's career and achievements. If you want to stay up to date on his future tournaments and matches, 
be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. And if you have any thoughts or comments about Bautista Agut or his career, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for your support and we look forward to bringing you more great content in the future.